always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A little bit cloudy to kick off our Wednesday here, but a bit of a silver lining are those temperatures. Stepping out the door this morning, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how it feels. 41 degrees right now in Grand Rapids, 39 in Hastings, but with that southerly wind, again, feels like temperatures actually feel like that. It is cloudy out there, and we're starting to see the chance for a few showers pop up. You'll notice some kind of popping up around our radar. Haven't seen any official reports that it's reaching the ground, but scattered showers will be possible as we head throughout our later morning hours, and especially into the afternoon and evening. Otherwise, most of the area will stay dry through about noon will top off near those low 50s this afternoon. So again, on the warmer side of things. And then later tonight and into those overnight hours, rain becomes moderate to heavy and more widespread. That carries us into our Thursday morning. We'll dry out slowly into the afternoon under partly cloudy skies. Winds will turn to the north and that will also pull in some drier air for us. Friday, slightly cooler, back down to 45. We will have some sunshine in the mix and pretty calm winds from the east there as well. So here's a check of that future cast again. Most of us will stay dry this morning. I'd say around 2 or 3 o'clock becomes possible that you'll see showers as especially near and south of I-94. Notice a fair amount of yellow and red popping up. That is indicating moderate to heavy rainfall and even a chance for a thunderstorm. But those thunderstorms actually become a little bit more likely as we head into those early morning hours on Thursday. We'll start to see that wind turn and that should dry us out pretty quickly into the afternoon with the exception of just a little bit of drizzle remaining. Again, a few rumbles of thunder tonight, not out of the question. So if you wake up, you are warned. Otherwise, as we head towards the end of the month into that first week of April, it looks like we'll kind of set into a little bit of a cooler pattern and that'll be the situation for about the northern half of the country. If you're wondering when we typically see that warm up, well, that average first 60 degree day, March 7th, should have already happened and we haven't seen that quite yet. First average 70 degree day, April 1st and even 80s by the end of the April. So hopefully we'll see that pattern change eventually. For now though, not terrible temperature wise out there. We'll still top off in those low 50s. Rain though will make it uh, feel a little bit cooler and also make it gloomy out there. We'll dry out into Friday before and Saturday. We could see a little bit of a wintry mix or some snow in those early morning hours with temperatures sitting right near that freezing mark. A mostly dry weekend though overall before our second rain chance moves in Monday. We should have actually a mostly dry next week, but temperatures a little bit below normal sitting in those mid 40s. Pretty calm out there for now, Tom. Are we having into any issues on the roads? Right now, things are looking pretty good out there across area roadways as we kick off our Wednesday morning commute and hopefully it stays that way as uh, we move throughout the morning. Taking a look at all the freeways headed into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. Right now, no major problems developing across area freeways 131, 96, 196 and M6 all remain crash free for us. So uh, no major delays heading into uh, or around the downtown Grand Rapids area. Weather so far, not an issue obviously for us. We have clear and dry conditions across area roadways. As we take a look from the MDOT camera positioned at US 131 at Hall Street, you can see light traffic in both directions. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan. Alrighty, Tom, thank you so much.